Hi, in the previous video, we saw how to use ArrayBase list as a stack and it was very efficient because we can have push and pop operations in big O of one. So we have fast operations for push and pop. How about using the ArrayBase list as a queue? If you want to use it as a queue, we have two operations for the queue, add or in queue which add element at the end of the queue, remove, which remove element from the beginning of the, the uh, queue. So if we want to implement this using array based list, so add x will be add x to position n, because it's the end of the queue. And this will take big O of one, which is very good. But if we want to remove, so unlike the stack, so the stack we add and remove from the same side, but if we want to remove for the queue, we have to remove from the other side, which means that we have to remove from the beginning. So remove will remove element at position zero. But if we want to remove element at position zero in the, in the queue, in the array based list, then we have to shift n elements. So which tell us that this operation is big O of n, which is not good. It's take a lot of operations I need to shift n elements to perform this operation. Imagine you have array of billion elements, then if you want to remove uh, from the queue, you have to make billion shift, which is not a good. But now the question, can we have both operations add and remove in the queue as a big O of one? We will answer this question today. So, the idea that we have is to make it the removal easy in the queue we can just we, we don't do the shifting imagine you have such array based list something like this and you want to remove b the first element so we have remove operation we remove b usually in the previous we shift all the elements but this is expensive how about we don't shift things? We keep this place empty so that we don't shift C back and D back and so on. So if we do this, then the operation is very fast, right? But if we want to do this, we have to make a new variable called J. J should tell us where the queue starts. So previously the queue start at position zero, but now if we remove this B, and we decided not to use this, then we will make g equal to 1. So, which tells that the q should start here at position 1. So now, we could have situation like this. We have n, three elements, starting from position 2. If we, I want to add d, I will just add d at position 2 plus 3, which is five at position five i will add d and then i will have n as a four and j didn't change i still start at position two how about situation when i want to add e here so i don't have space here to add e but still i have space at the beginning right so j is two n is four i want to add e I don't have space here at the end of the array. So in this case, I will go back to the beginning and add E. So it will be like circular implementation. That's why we call it circular implementation. So in this case, we can add E here. But how to know what's the index of E? We can use the mod or remainder. So we will say J plus N, we will add E at position j plus n remainder a dot length so in this case j plus n is 6 right but we don't have 6 here we take the remainder over 6 and then it's 0 so we store it at position 0 so 2 plus 4 remainder 6 is equal to 0 so we we store e at position 0 in the array a so with this, we have this circular implementation. 
So the array based Q, we will have add X, or we sometimes we call it in the Q, in Q, and remove, sometimes we call it DQ. So add will add element at the end of the Q. And remove will remove element from the beginning of the Q. So, so for the array based Q, we will have three variables, or three fields, in number of elements. We have the array. And which is new, we have j. So j is just the variable that tell us where is the start of the queue, because the start of the queue is moving over time. So for the initialization of the variables, n equals to 0, j equal to 0, and the array initially will start at uh, an array of 10 elements. So how to add, if we want to add object x to the queue, first we check if we have enough space in the array or not. If we have array of 10 elements and we already have 10 elements, we cannot add more. So we need to resize and we will see how we can resize in this new class. And then we do this operation. We add the object x at position j plus n remainder a dot length so this j this is the start of the queue n is the number of the elements so j plus n makes sense but in case this is like goes beyond the end of the array we have to go back at the beginning that's why we have this thing and at the end we increase the number of elements so this takes big o of one because we only have one operation here, or two operations, still big of one. So the resize could take a lot of times, but we don't do it often, right? As we discussed it last video. How about remove? Remove is also easy. So first we store the element we want to remove. And we want to remove the first element. And the first element is it at position J because we said that the Q starts at J. So we start this uh, element at object O, and then we decrease the number of the items in the Q, and then we modify J. So the start of the array now is moving. So J should be J plus one. But this moving could, could go back to the end if, if we reach the end of the array. That's why we need to make remainder a dot length. And again, if we remove so much elements and we have big array compared to the elements we have, we will resize. So if we have number of elements less than third of the length of the array, we will resize. We will make the new array with less size, as we will see. So this will take big O of 1 because we have we don't have loops here. And this resize, it takes time, but we don't do it often. So about the resize, so the resize here, we create new array, B equals to new object. The size of the new array is 2 of 2n. This 2n could be uh, double the previous array because the previous array could have size n in case of I add and I don't have space, then I want to increase it to 2n. And this could be like I am decreasing the size of the array in the case of remove. So if I remove so much element and the size of the array is 3n, I will reduce it to 2n. So I will make a loop now. I copy every element from array A to B. So how will do this copy? Let's, let's talk about this situation. So this is J equals to 3 means B is the first element in the queue. And next C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Now I have six elements. If I want to add another element, H, I don't have space in the array. So what I will do, first I have to do resize. I will create new array. Let's call it array B with 12 elements, okay? And then I, I will do the copy. I will not copy it like this. I will just start from here. 
position j i will copy a of j to b of 0 a of j plus 1 to be 1 a of j plus 2 to be 2 a of j plus 3 remainder the length of the array to position uh, 3 and so on so that's why we have this equation b of i is equal to a of j plus i remainder a dot length so i start from j and i move and copy to array b at the end i will make e equals to b and i will reset j to be zero because now in the new position the, the q will start in the new array the q starts from here so that's why j is zero after that i can easily add h to the end of the q and i will increase n so this is the resize operation and that's it we do it like this and it's big o of n because i am copying n elements from array A to array B. So let's, let's do the implementation before we see the exercise. Let's first do, we create new project. Let's call it array based Q demo one let's call it like this i will have the main class but i want to create new class i will call it array based q so as i said for this class i need three variables first the array array of object let's call it a and I need a variable end and a variable j to tell me the start and for the constructor public array based q and this constructor will initialize the array to have 10 elements and we will make n to be 0 because we don't have elements and j is equals to 0 as well and then we have two main operations for the queue we have add public void add object x so for this add we need to add the element so first we check if the array is full if n equals to a dot length so the array is full array has n elements so i don't have space so in this case i will resize otherwise if it's not full i will add at position j plus n so i start at j and I have n elements so I will add at the end of the queue but because of the circular things I will do remainder a dot length and this I will store x here after doing this I will increase n because I added a new element so this is the add operation you can see it's big of one there is no loops we have this resize but we can ignore it because we don't do often and now the remove operation so remove we want to store object o we want to store the the elements that we want to remove the elements that we want to remove exist in a of j because j is the starting point of the queue so we we store this one and then we we increase j j equals to j plus one but this could be the end like j could be the last element in the array in this case we don't want to go beyond the last element of the array so in this case we have to go back how to make it go back we have to make remainder of 
a dot length and for sure we have to decrease the number of elements and we have to return O but before we return O we want to check if we want to resize or not if n is less than or equal a dot length divided by 3 so if we have elements less than or equal third of the array then we should decrease the size of the array to 2n so this is the idea we have resize and now we just need to make the resize public void resize in this case we will do just uh, create new array b equal new uh, object the size of this should be 2n we could make uh, this here or here both are correct both works and then I need to move now the element from A to B so I will make a, ro a loop A dot uh, sorry I have to make it to N I plus plus so every time I will make B of I equals to A of J plus I so because the Q starting at J okay and every time I increase I first time I don't think I increase zero so I will start from J and I will move on for everything and again because of the circular behavior I will make reminder over A dot length and then I am done with the copying and after I copy I will just say e equal to B this is the new and I will modify J because now in the new array the Q starting at position 0 okay so this is the resize operation and with this I implement add and remove very efficiently because this is big O of 1 this is big O of 1 this is big O of n but I don't do it often so I hope the implementation is clear and now as exercise we want to do the following we want to add new methods to the array based queue it's called rotate a r this rotate will rotate the array I have array and I have element in this array I want to rotate them by R steps okay so let, let, let's say we have some elements in the array if I want to rotate I want to, to move every element to the right let's see three steps okay if I reach the end of the array I have to go back to the end so this is the rotate I have array I have to rotate the elements three steps or R steps so this is the exercise it has similar behavior like what we have in the array based queue I hope the video was clear and uh, talk to you in the next video